No. No. I refuse to lose. To such a bunch of losers. I think I'm... I'm fainting? No, this isn't... The way I... I, I won't... Allow... Hello everyone and welcome back to Missledyne Online, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, Proud Mode, Riku's story in the last episode. We defeated everything that we could do in Olympus Coliseum, including the one and only Zeus, I mean Hades. Okay, I made that joke before and it was stupid, and I still went with it this time. And you know what, you're gonna have to deal with that, and I don't really care what you have to say, okay? Also, Vexen's dead. Yeah, Vexen, the dude that created that replica Riku dude, that that dark version of us, he's dead. He's gone. He's out of here. Apparently, he was killed by Axel. Zexion and Lexius are very upset about that. So let's continue on. We are going to use the last world card that we have, which is none other than my favorite world in this entire game, in every Kingdom Hearts game, uh, except for two. <laughs> it's Halloween Town. Key of Beginnings. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Get with us and you will see this is our town of Halloween. I love this place. This world is amazing, and you can get so much experience here. Your deck is great. Let's go ahead and take a look at our deck first. So if we go ahead, we will look. We will see that we have two sevens and a nine. Another nine. We have so many nines. Holy shit. Look at all these nines. If we hit dark mode, we are going to be using dark aura so damn much. It's going to be insane. Also, we have a white knight. Alters gravity to boost jumping ability. Uh, I don't believe that you will be using that enemy card at all. And already, we already got another level, so we are now level 36. Again, Halloween Town is literally just an amazing place to level up. It is so, so good. So we're going to go ahead and put some more points into our darkness, just so we can remain in darkness for just a wee bit, a wee bit longer. We just did one battle and got like a thousand experience points. Seriously, I, I, I just, I, I just recommend, I just recommend everything about this world. It's amazing. Let's use the only door that we can do. Clear, clear, clear the room. Uh, and we will go ahead and use, that was for you, Miss Anun. Uh, let's go ahead and use, uh, it doesn't even matter what we use here. You know what I'm saying? We could use any of these green cards just to make it a little bit, a little bit easier for us. Um... I'm gonna say let's go with strong initiative just to like quickly do it right we want to be getting as much experience as we can here in Halloween Town seriously it is it is like the best world I feel like anyways to do it uh, it's so strong especially if you can card break things and end up using those dark auras like I said you will literally just be destroying things that battle I don't, I don't even know if I edited it out, because it literally took like two seconds. I just wanted to show you how strong that could be. My god! So close to getting another, uh, another level here, but we didn't get it. So let's go ahead, we'll use this door that's right on the side here. Uh, we need a two or higher. We should probably go with literally anything uh, that's going to just help us increase this. So Lasting Days works just great for me. Another Martial Waking would have worked well. Literally anything at this point works so well. This world is just so good. How many times am I going to say that in a short amount of time uh, for you guys? That's my that's my question of the day. <laughs> how many times how many times do I say that this world is great? That time doesn't count though because because I was I was saying, you know what I mean? Okay. And of course we leveled up. We are now level 37. Oh my god. We are going to set our HP at 350 and we're just going to leave it there for a couple more levels, I think. Now we'll focus on our attack points and our D our DP. Uh, just because we don't really, I mean, our health is fine, um, we could always do more health, like, that's not, you know, it's not like an unheard of thing to, you know, want to have more health in an RPG, I think that's totally fine, uh, but we're gonna focus, we're gonna focus on our DP now. Alright, we finally cleared this room, uh, we are so close to the next level as well, we are already almost level 38, so here we are just gonna go ahead and use, um, 
Uh, I, meeting Ground is the one card that I'm like, you know, I wouldn't really worry about it too much about using that one. We're going to go ahead and use our uh, Strong Initiative again. I think Strong Initiative is actually one of the best cards you can use here, just because you can quickly destroy everything. All right, we did get another level. Just as I finished saying that, of course, we're going to put that into our AP, and my now mind attack points, is or attack power, is now at 23. My favorite number ever. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Room clear! Of course it is, because, because like, it, it always is. All right, so I'm going to use something else here, just because we haven't. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Tranquil Darkness, just a regular little old Tranquil Darkness. Just because I feel like we've been using so many of our green cards, uh, and we might need those, so I don't want to, like... Get rid of them all. All right, so we are going the right way. You can tell that this this world is uh, it, it kind of takes a while to get through, um, which is you know that's okay with me because fights. So my goal in Halloween Town is to hit level forty, which I'm pretty sure we can easily do that, especially with these guys who give us actually. If we, uh, I'll go ahead and destroy them real quick, just so I can show you how much experience uh, White Knights actually give. They give about a hundred experience each, and I don't know why I said about. They literally give a hundred experience each, each one that you kill. So when you get into fights like this, you can end up getting close to, ooh, I don't know, 500 experience points, maybe even more, depending. That's pretty crazy, man. It can it can really, 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 really quickly um, add up. As you can see, we're already at only 1,200 more needed to level 39. So we will be able to hit level 40 really, really quickly. All right, we only have one door left that we can use. Well, in this in this area, anyway. So we'll go ahead and use. We need something. Um, I'd like to use something that would actually kind of. Well, we could use a six here, right? We could use a six strong initiative. That sounds good to me. Oh, baby, level thirty nine. We are so close, so close to level forty. Which is, uh, I'd be okay with leaving, uh, leaving this world at at level forty. I think I think that would be totally appropriate. All right, let's go ahead and open this door. We've cleared the room. We're pretty close to level forty. Not as close as I would like. Like we're not, you know, at level forty, but we're close. I'm gonna actually use a zero card here just to reset the room values. Uh, that's the wonderful thing about zero cards, man. All right, let's clear, clear, clear the room, clear, clear. I need health. Oh my god, wasn't even paying attention, man. Wasn't even paying attention. All right, there's a lot to do in this room, but if we go ahead, open our map, we can see that we should probably go to this room first, and then hopefully to that room. That should be that should be the way that we go. But uh, let's find an enemy so we can, of course, of course, do some battle. All right, we leveled up. That's pretty gnarly sauce. We are now level 40. Oh my god. Of course, we're going to increase our darkness points yet again. Our DP. <laughs> All right. And then we'll go and kill this shadow that I see creeping around up here. All right. Let's use this door. Here we go. We're going. Uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use black room just because we haven't actually seen it yet uh, Not that it's a big deal, but I figured you know what during this LP even though you've already seen it during Sora's story If you watched Sora's story, which I'm assuming you did if you're watching this if you didn't watch Sora's story You're missing out. It's actually really good. Uh, so we want to use this door uh, on the side there That's the only one that we want to use here uh, Also, we can go and grab this and we can go ahead and take down this this heartless which is a uh, black fungus, which as you will see has a ton of health We'll actually go ahead and pop holy burst in here. I'm actually curious to see I think that will do pretty tremendous amount of damage actually uh, This wasn't the best idea to use this holy burst But now they're all going to use guard and they fight almost the exact same way that they did in other uh, Other kingdom hearts and you will also notice that we get almost n no experience from them whatsoever for what they are. Uh, I don't really recommend fighting them. Uh, they are useful in Sora's story. They have no use whatsoever in Riku's. Uh, that's just, that's just the way it is, you know? You know what, you know what I'm saying? It's just the way it is. We won't actually really get anything from them. Um, 
and and that's it. And we'll just we'll just continue on because I obviously don't want to fight a bunch of uh, those those stupid heartless. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick up a uh, oh perfect strong initiative. This is our last room to level in before a boss fight. Oh, we got so much experience in that fight because it was one of the fights that's against all white knights, liter white knights. We literally got it in like. Me, we got like a thousand experience right there. That's pretty huge, dude. All right, everyone, this is it—the final door of Halloween Town. Sort of, not the not the actual final door. We need a five or lower blue card. Uh, we're going to end up using our mingling worlds. Uh, let's do let's do a five. Let's actually do a five, and then we will do the key to beginnings, and we will be able to proceed to the boss of Halloween Town, which I'm pretty sure everybody here knows exactly who it is. It is none other. Oogie Boogie. Yeah, you guessed it. It's Oogie Boogie. Of course it is. So this fight is pretty simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to card break him as often as we can uh, and then and then kind of hit these dice as they roll. Although you don't totally need to do that. Now he's going to do it again. We're going to card break him yet again. Uh, we can break these if we so choose. Not a huge deal. And then we will actually use a zero card here to break him and that will actually allow us to get up in his face. Uh, I'm going to wait to see if he uses a nine card and then we are going to duel him. Uh, mostly because if I'm not entirely mistaken, this Dark Maelstrom is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. And then uh, we might be able to even get a combo in there. Now you want to hit Dark, you want to try hitting your Dark Mode as soon as you possibly can. Just because it will allow you to really kick the poo-poo, the poo-poo out, uh, out of Oogie Boogie. So we're going to wait, use the zero, there we go. We don't want to, so we desperately, desperately don't want to do this uh, while he is, there we go. And now, now what we want to do is we want to try hitting dark mode now. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. We want to hit dark mode. And now what we want to do is actually use our inverse burst on him, which is going to do... No, nothing, because he ended up using it. So we were able to enter dark mode in time. Uh, we'll go ahead and break him. Uh, my hope here is that we will actually just be able to kind of uh, stay in dark mode this whole time. As long as, as, long as he doesn't break us, we'll, we'll actually be okay. We'll actually be okay. Uh, so I'm not I'm not too worried about that. We'll use a zero card here. Alright, and now we will use Dark Dark Aura. And watch how much damage this does, guys. Holy crap. We just brought him down to his final health bar in one attack. One attack. That's crazy, dude. That is absolutely crazy. So we can't actually break this, uh, can we? Yeah, we can. Perfect. Perfect. We'll just stay on top of him, keep card breaking him every chance we can. We will stay in dark mode, which is just beautiful for us. And uh, and you just kind of do this. You just kind of wait him out, and he will be easy. Oops. That's okay. Okay, we'll duel him. Uh, we will we will uh, be able to kill him here. And this dark maelstrom will be enough to take down Oogie Boogie. So it's, it's kind of a waiting game. It's a really, really, really incredibly easy boss fight. As long as you're watching your cards and breaking him when he uses him. Our deck is just so strong for it. And we will definitely level up from this fight, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we will. That means we're leaving Halloween Town. Well, we're not even out yet. Uh, we still have to go to Champion's Respite, and we get the Oogie Boogie card. We are level 41. That's insane. And, of course, Attack Boost. As always, let's go ahead and take a look at the card we just received from the one and only Oogie Oogie Oogie. Oogie Boogie Man gradually restores HP. Not bad. Not bad at all in case we don't have access to any of our uh, super powerful deck cards that we need. Now, I think we actually need to get to all the way over here. Luckily for us, we've pretty much already cleared all of those rooms. So we can just walk on over and go to Conqueror's Respite. Um, I guess. I guess I'll just cut to when we're in Conqueror's Respite because there's no point in showing us walking there. All right, we made it. We're in Conqueror's Respite. Oh my. Uh, so, Halloween Town. We're already done. I will probably be coming back here off screen just to get some more levels. Uh, I'd like to at least hit level 50. There is a trophy, though, for hitting level 99 in this game, which is something that I'll be doing uh, probably in a live stream at some point. Just kind of, you know, fooling around and 
and making sure that we get to that point eventually. Um, because I think that would be a good a good thing to do is like platinum all of these games, right? That's that's what you guys are here for. That's what I want to do. All right, everyone. Once you've saved, be very prepared and enter this door to fight perhaps one of the hardest bosses in all of Reed Chain of Memories. That scent. You're another one of those nobodies. You've done well thus far. But to possess your powers and yet fear the darkness, what a waste. I do not fear it. I sense that you do. You're also capable of controlling the darkness. Cast away your useless fear. Open your heart, embrace the darkness. And if I say no? Then you lose both light and darkness. And disappear. I, Lexius, will not yield to the frail heart of an infantile coward. Now, stop resisting. And let the darkness in. All right, Lexius, one of the members of Organization 13, one that Sora never fought. The first one that Sora never fought. Well, Riku has to do it, and oh my golly, is he ridiculously hard. So he has uh, a couple things that we want to watch out for. So he's going to use these magic cards. Uh, we're going to see if we can actually duel him right now, uh, just to see if we can get some, oh god, some early damage on him. Uh, if we can do that, that would be great. Just to get some some early damage, see how much damage that barrage actually does. Okay, now we want to wait, uh, and he's going to use Warp Break. Now, we want to actually use our Parasite Cage here, uh, because that will actually... Now, he's going to use this Rock Shatter attack. We want to try to uh, get out... Or this Impact Quake, I should say. He does have another one as well. Uh, we could have used a Zero card to break that, but that's okay. So, we need to watch out, because he has the potential of using a Magic card. Uh, right here. Alright, so, he used that. We need to make sure that he is not able to use that card... At all. If he is able to use that, this fight becomes nigh impossible to win. So we're going to go ahead, hit him with that. We want to hit enter dark mode as soon as possible. That is like the thing that we need to do here, right? Um, okay, so we will break his card there. Wait, wait, yet again. All right, we need to duel him yet again. Duels are literally the best way to win this fight. I'm not even joking. Uh, just because of the sheer amount of damage that they end up actually doing to him, as you can tell. Uh, and then we'll see if we can just get a combo in on him. Um... I would like to, I would like to refresh my cards, but honestly, we might not have the opportunity. All right, and finally, we will hit dark mode. Uh, oh no, this is not good. Okay, we'll use dark fire on him just to get some damage in. Dark fire yet again. All right. Uh, wait, I want to use, I want to use my genie Jafar card here. Okay. All right, here we go. And down goes Lexius. Holy crap, I don't know how that fight went so well. Hitting that dark mode is so important in this fight. It just does such tremendous damage. And being able to throw those duels in every single chance you can is amazing. And we will level up yet again. Holy Christ. I actually, I, I, I'll be honest, guys. I re-recorded this fight because it went really poorly the first time. And that time went really well really well. So we're going to increase our DP to 26, and we are now level 42. You're finished! Don't mock me! You were too much trouble. Too slow. You are the superiors. Forgive me, Zexion. 
This was a fight I should not have started. <laughs> I see you now. Clearly. Huh? Lexius? Riku. I can see your heart. No, it's not. Darkness this foul could only... only be... That's it. Remember me. Let me drift into your heart. Ansem! <laughs> You called out my name. You have been thinking about me. You're afraid of the darkness I command. Good. The more you think of me, the closer my return draws. And when I have awoken, I will take hold. Your heart will be mine! The king. He protected me. Your majesty? Where are you? Please answer! You're with me, aren't you? Wow. Wow, what? Riku turned Ansem, took control of Riku for a moment there, and literally destroyed Lexius. Lexius is gone as well. Vexen, Loxene, Lexius. I wonder who will be next in line. I thought perhaps it might be you. Me? No way. I already took my pounding from Sora. He thinks I'm done for good. No, I think it'll be Marluxia next. For defying the organization and targeting Sora. I hope he moves exactly as his heart commands him to. So, what about you? I thought you guys had plans for Riku. Yes, we were going to set him off against the traitors. But with Marluxia gone, there is no more need. He is nothing but a nuisance now. And he's dangerous as well. After all, he took down Lexius. You know, that is not how I do things. Tell me, did you obtain the data on Riku's home? One of the senses died. A really strong one. 
The keeper of this castle, Marluxia, has just been felled by the Keyblade Master. Keyblade? You mean Sora? Sora is here? Yes. Want to see him? But... Can you face him? What's that mean? The world of darkness and and some shadow still nest within your heart. Do you plan to face Sora like that? Are you not ashamed? <laughs> Sora's fate is to battle the darkness. He must oppose anyone who hosts the dark. In other words, it's you. If you don't believe the words I say, then you had best see the truth with your own eyes. This card... This is our... Yes. It is your home. And we get the Destiny Islands World card. One of the last cards that we receive here in Chain of Memories. That's pretty crazy stuff, man. Alright, so we're going to end here. Obviously, this uh, might have been a really long episode because there's a lot happening story-wise. Guys, Marluxia is down. Larxene is down. Vexen is down. Lar- uh, Lack- Lack- Lark- Lax- Laxius- Lack- The dude we just fought is down. <laughs> oh, man. We are plowing through Organization 13 with Riku and Sora combined we are taking down this castle from the inside out, and that is super cool. In the next episode, we will continue towards the end of the game, and maybe, just maybe, take down Zexion himself. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. Also appearing on screen is a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you, viewer, and the playlist for Sora's story in Chain of Memories. Also, a Patreon button is showing up if you want to support the channel monetarily. That would be amazing. I love you all, and remember, never give up. Never surrender to the darkness.